بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته today إن شاء الله we will start new series of Arabic books for non-Arabic speakers this series provided by معهد الفنار الإسلامي or الفنار الإسلامي or this is Islamic institution called الفنار this الفنار teaches a book or teaches uh, Arabic for non-Arabic speakers it gives series of five books okay but from the first one till fifth one it gives you step by step from Arabic alphabet till you be could be a teacher professional teacher in Arabic okay so this is really quite good excellent books to learn from they are tidy colored and give a different way of learning Arabic so the book or the first book it, it, it contains of 10 units dividing on the groups of letters that are pronounced or exit from the same place in the tongue or the throat so it, it's um, similar pronunciation okay different similar pronunciation uh, letters so inshallah we're going to finish these 10 units in 10 weeks every week we will finish one whole unit and the next week you have to do two things finish with, uh, unit 2 and revise unit 1 revision is so important because while you go through these books inshallah you could finish them in less than one year if you keep revising and you don't leave the books that you finish you go back and revise and revise until you be confident in reading writing pronouncing talking in Arabic okay and understand what you're listening as well so through these books, inshallah, you could be professional, you could be an Arabic teacher as well, as I told you. So this could be happen in less than one year. So make sure that you revise to keep remember the vocabularies. I mentioned before in many occasions that our target is not to remember the vocabularies. No, our target is help you to read, write, uh, talk Arabic. And this is in our online school, Arabic Voice, which you'll find in Web, uh, website www.arabicvoice.org this is our target to help you talk confidently pronounce proper pronunciation no Arab, no accents native Arabic and pure Arabic accent so please keep remember all the vocabularies because with, through these five books there are thousands ten thousands of vocabularies you have to learn you have to remember as well you are building new language in your brain so you have to do a, a little bit a, a effort at least to remember the vocabulary and this is only the first step to remember the vocabularies because the second step is to use these vocabularies to make sentences and, and the third step to pronounce these vocabularies and to try to make sentences talking and to practice these vocabularies in sentences listening and understand what you're listening to so please try to do your best to remember the vocabularies and then inshallah you'll be able to use these vocabularies in sentences and conversations and start to talk Arabic hopefully inshallah again this book are 10 books are 10 units we will finish unit every week inshallah so let's go to first unit Al-Wahda al الأولى, the first unit الحروف باء فاء ميم واو I think if you learn القاعدة النورانية with me before or قايدة you will learn that these four letters mainly pronounced from the lips and we call it in Arabic الحروف الشفوية okay so it mainly comes from the lips pronounced from the lips while the other or while the rest of the letters could be pronounced from moving the lips okay so only these letters should move their lips to pronounce it properly okay so this letter pronounced mainly from the lips that's why we call it lips letters or al huruf al shafawiya we're going to take every single ugly letter together learn about how to pronounce it learn about it how to pronounce it how to write it down how it looks like in the fair, in the beginning of the letter in the beginning of the word in the middle and at the end as well so let's start Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim here the introduction and to give you some instruction instruction to the to the teacher about this book al al Ula and he are the group, our first group of the letters that we're going to learn about today inshallah this week here is one of the beautiful 
type of Arabic writing. It's written like that. So it's nice. It said من روائع الخط العربي. The great way, great Arabic writing. Starting from حرف الباء. From Arabic letters. Inshallah, you start this book after you finish Getaway to Arabic Book 1. You should through this book know how to read all the letters, how to pronounce them properly. So now we're going through just the letter Ba. Okay, so it's pronounced again from the lips. Ba. And we get, we get some vocabularies pronounced, uh, some vocabularies that there is that contains a letter Ba. And this letter comes at the beginning, middle, or at the end. Ba, ba, bakara, bakara, cow. Ba, ba, jabal, jabal. Ba come in the middle here. Oh, look how it looks like. Okay, so this is bakara. The letter, first letter is ba. Okay, it looks like that in the in the beginning of the word. Okay, and it looks like that in the middle of the word. And looks like the alphabet letter at the end. Ba kitab, kitab book. Bakara, jabal, kitab. Now more vocabularies of the letter ba, but this time with the short vowels, which is fatha, kasra, dhamma, or the long vowel, which is alif, waw. Yeah, we will learn it later. Now, the short vowel, ba, fatha, ba, batta, ba, dhamma, bu, buma, ba, kasra, bi, bittikha, okay, and sukun as well, ba, sakin, I can't pronounce by the way the letter with sukun without help from the letter comes before it with any of the short vowels, so, Ba sukun like in arnab, arnab. I could pronounce now the letter ba because no one comes before it with the letter with the vowel or the short vowel fatha that helped me to pronounce the sound of ba now. But alif, but ba second like that I can't pronounce. I say ba, ba, ba I can't pronounce. Sukun in Arabic means pause. Okay, you made a pronunciation to be paused, so you can't pronounce the letter with sukun alone. You have, you need a letter before it, with fatha or kasra or dhamma to pronounce the letter, the second or the letter with sukun. So again, ba fatha ba, batta dok. Ba dhamma bu, buma awl. Ba kasra bi, bittiha. Watermelon. Ba sakin arnab rabbit. Okay, so repeat again after me the vocabularies. Bakara, jabal, mountain. Kitab, batta, buma, bittiha, arnab. We learn how to see how to how ba looks like in the beginning, in the middle, at the end. How the letter ba written. How to pronounce with the short vowels fatha, kasra, dam, fatha, dhamma, kasra, and sukun. And now we're going to learn how to pronounce letter ba with the letters of mad, alif, waw, and ya. Yeah. Ba fatha alif ba ba ba. Door. Ba dhamma waw bu buk. Ba kasra ya bi bid. Okay. Ba buk bid. So repeat after me the vocabularies again. Bakara. Jabal, Kitab, Batta, Buma, Bittiha, Arnab, Bab, Buk, Bid. Now next page.
how to write be, uktub be, write be. Inshallah, for all of you, this letter should be easy for you. How to write down letter be. So try to print this page. Okay, print it. And try to go through the letters with your pencil. Inshallah, this should be easy for all of you. So let's check how to write down ba and fatha kasra dhamma and with the mad letter alif wa ghaw and ya and how this and how to write ba in the beginning in the middle at the end of the letter so let's try to do this in I will do one line from each one and you go through the rest let's start to do this one Now instructions in Arabic. Try to know the meaning of these instructions. Uktub, write. Okay. Anybody knows how to say read in Arabic? Iqra. Iqra is read. So ba is easy to write, inshallah, for all of you. Here is ba. Here is ba again. This is ba in the Arabic alphabet. Okay. Not in any, in the beginning or end or anything. It's just the letter ba, like in any Arabic alphabet. Now, how to write ba with fatha? So it's written like that. This is ba with fatha. Okay. You hold, you hold your pencil and try to write with me, please. Okay. This is ba with fatha. Okay. And this is ba with dhamma. Dhamma looks like small wow on the top of the letter. And here is ba with kasra. Okay, inshallah this should be easy for you. So it will not take much time from you. So let's go to now this are ba with the short vowels. Let's go through ba with the long vowels which is alif, wow and ya. So ba fatha ba, ba dhamma bu, ba kasra bi. This is the short vowels. Now, how to pronounce ba with the long vowels again? So, ba fatha alif ba. How to write down ba fatha alif? How to write it down? Here is ba. Here is my cursor. Here is my cursor. Again. Ba and alif, okay, like that. Ba and alif, and usually the fatha comes before this alif, like that. Now ba dhamma wa bu. This is dhamma, very important right dhamma here, because the wa and ya comes as a diff, not only a letter of mad, it comes as a lean letter as well. If you learn with me. The Al Qaeda Nuraniya, so you will learn that Wow and Ya comes a little of Mad and comes a little of Lean as well. So if I, if there is no Wow here or it, oh sorry, if there is no Dhamma here and it's just Fatha, so it's not be it's not Bu, then it will be Bow, okay? So Dhamma I think should be written here to mention that this Wow is a little of Mad, okay? And here by the way Kasra should be written. Not uh, left like that, okay? B, okay? So this is two different types of writing ba with ya, yeah, okay? You can make this line longer, like here in this, or write it down directly like this one. B, B, ba fatha alif ba, ba dhamma wa bu, ba kasra ya b. Now, how to write down ba as a first letter? So, ba, I will not carry on finish it. Okay, I will cut a piece of ba to enable it to join to the next letter. And here is ba joined from both sides. So, it's written like that. And here is ba when joined to the last letter. Yeah. Like that. 
Okay, this is how to write letter B as a joining letter or compound letter. I hope that easy for you. Inshallah, this should be easy for you, especially for those who go through and uh, uh, get away to Arabic book one with me. Now we're going to through layer uh, new uh, letter which is fa. If you see, if you pronounce fa, you will notice that you bite your uh, down at lips, okay, your bottom lips. So fa, fa, looks like f letter in Arabic, uh, in English, sorry. So harf al fa, pronounce again. This is the second letter of the lips letter, pronounced from the lips. So how to, what are the vocabularies that comes with fa? So fa faras, fa faras, fa to faha. Now in this stage you are not concerned about learning the meaning of the covers, okay? Anyway, it's enough to look at the picture and know what this means, but we are they're just stressed on the or concerned about the pronunciation, how to read it. And pronunciation and the letter the shape of the letter in these words, okay? We are concerned about or con concentrate on the shape of the letter that we are learning about. It. So look here fa at the first letter in the word comes looks like that, okay? Fa faras in the middle, fa to faha in the end, fa kharuf, faras to faha kharuf. Now with the short vowels, fa fatha fa far, fa kasra fi feel. فا ضم فو فل فل فا ساكن or فا سكون طفل طفل فأر فيل فل فل طفل Now this is short vowels. What about the long vowels? ألف and و and ياء فا فتحة ألف فا فاكهة فا ضمة واو فا ضمة واو فو فول فا كسرة يا في فيل فاكهة فول فيل So repeat after me again these two covers فرس تفاحة خروف فأر فيل فلفل طفل فاكهة فول فيل Okay, so what the letters of mad does or do or do they stretch the letter comes before, okay? With the sound of alif or waw or ya. Now, uktub again. Uktub, remember this word means write. Uktub. So, what you're going to do now, we're going to write down exactly what we like. We don't, we like, we, we don't with the letter ba. We're going to do the same with the letter fa now. How fa looks like with, the, uh, as a first letter, second letter middle letter and last letter and with the three short vo short vowels fatha kasra dham here is fa let's write it together fa it's just letter fa in the arabic alphabet it's written like that fa sorry it's a bit okay fa now, fa fatha. How to write fa fatha fa? Fa. Now, while you are writing the letter, when you finish, try to pronounce it. Okay, look at the letter and pronounce it. Fa. Fatha. Fa. Fa. Dhamma. Fu. Fa. Kasra. في فا فو في Now let's go to the next, po next uh, 
part of the vowels when they are long vowels. How to read the letter fa with the long vowels and the letter fa, how it looks like in the, as a first letter, middle, and the last letter of the word. Here is fa in the middle. How to write down? Here is fa in the beginning. The first one here, fa in the beginning, like that. Okay. So you just feel like you cut its ending piece or the last part of this. This this fa is not come up like that. It just leave it like this to enable it to join to the next letter. Here is fa. It's not complete. Why? Because it's going to join to the next letter now. Make word. And here is fa in the middle. Okay. So we suppose, sorry, this is not correct, the second one. We suppose that the letter fa will join from both sides. Okay. Join to the letter comes before it and after it. What's wrong today? Try again. Join from here and from here. Okay, here is fa. So we suppose that there is letter that comes before it and after it. And here is fair as a last letter, so nothing joined after it. It's just joining from this part. And here is letter fair. If the letter comes before it, it's not a letter or one of these letters that never join to the next letter. So it's written like in the alphabet letter. Now, how to write down the letters, the letter fair with the long vowels? Alif, Wow, and Ya. Yeah. So again, while we are writing, you, you try to pronounce what you write, okay? So, Fa, Fatha, Alif, Fa. Uh, I'll try to down this one. Fa, Fatha. Look, the arrows here show you how to go, okay? Like that. Fa, Fatha, Alif, Fa. Fa, Dhamma, Wow, Fu. Okay. Okay. Now let's go to the next letter, which should be Meme or Wow. There is here exercises to dream. You're going through new things, which is, just check this one, yeah. Check this page finish or no. Yes. Before going through the next two letters, we, there is exercise, we're going to learn how to say this is in Arabic. This is in English means that you see something and you want to know what is this. How to say that in Arabic? How to say this is in Arabic? This is in Arabic for masculine. If you find something masculine, so you say هذا, something or someone. And هذه for a feminine, something or someone. So in Arabic there is no is, there is no are. Okay? So Hada means this is. Okay? Now, could you see here, this is a list of the masculine nouns or masculine vocabularies. So we use Hada. And the second list here, a vocabularies or feminine vocabularies or feminine nouns so we use with it هذه so repeat after me for masculine we say هذا for a feminine we say هذه هذا هذه now we can imagine that book is masculine كتاب in Arabic is a masculine so we use هذا هذا كتاب this is book cow is feminine Arabic هذه بقرة how I can know the difference between the masculine and the feminine Arabic 
actually usually the feminine got ta marbuta at the end could you, could you see ending with ta the sound of ta baqara batta tufaha buma okay always all i'm not pronounce it ta ta because i stopped and when i press stop talking or the i do pause after pronouncing ta change to ha but the writing show you that there is ta here this ta called ta marbuta or close ta it looks like this if there is one of the note letter comes before that never join to the next letter or looks like that this if there is a normal letter comes before it which join from both sides baqara cow this is feminine hadhihi baqara this is cow tif okay male child هذا طفل why male child because if I want to say هذه I add تاء مربوطة to be طفلة so the masculine طفل the feminine طفلة هذا طفل this is a child هذه بطة this is a duck could you see تاء مربوطة here show you that this is feminine هذا باب this is a door هذه تفاحة تاء مربوطة comes again this is a apple هذا فأر this is rat هذه بومة this is owl okay you will notice even the feminine names are usually got تاء مربوطة okay um, for example أليشا صالحة أميرة okay so these are feminine the تاء مربوطة show you that the things are feminine تدريب اثنان it's not all the time like that it's commonly okay all the time ta marbuta comes or indicates that this vocabulary is a feminine tadrib ithnan exercise 2 da daira hawla harf al ba wa murabba'an hawla harf al fa fi al kalimat al taliya now what you're going to do you have to put a circle around the letter ba and a square around the letter fa in the following words so let's do this together I'm going to do circle around the letter ba and a square around the letter fa so baqara is baqara here so i'm going to do circle around ba and square around fa faras okay to faha this is fa, so I have to do square like that. And the next one, jabal, this is letter ba, so I have to do circle. Book, another ba, so I have to add circle. Jabal, ba again. Oh, it should be jabal, this is missing jim here. Feel, fa, so this is square. Okay, tif, this is fa, another square. Okay, so this is actually a little bit, <laughs> oh, I forgot about that, yeah, this is bad here, circle, so yes, that's, uh, inshallah, should be easy for you, it's like a game, actually, it's make things more funny, actually, through this book. تدريب ثلاثة, exercise three, أكمل الفراغ بكتابة حرف الباء, so complete the sentence by writing the letter ba, and then you're going to read it to make words. Now what you're going to add, you're going to add only the letter ba in the space and try to read it. Ta ba Tabel. Okay. So shall we join it or no? So let's try to join it. Or oh, something wrong with this room. Oh yes, I didn't do this for a capture, so we have to take a photo to do this exercise and do it together. Try to press pause now and to do it in your own and to try to read. Check your pronunciation of these words after adding the letter ba. Ta and ba. So it will be tabl. Okay. Tabl is drum. Kitab. Actually, we're not concerned about the meaning, just the pronunciation. Ba and joining to wall. As a first letter, book here, ba first letter as well. Sa, seen it's not ready to join it, so will be 
Sabur and Zubeb. This is how to pronounce these words after adding the letter B. Tabl, Kitab, Book, Bint, Sabur, Zubeb. Now, أكمل الفراغ بكتابة حرف الفاء. After uh, after ba, we're going to write down do the same exercise, but instead of ba fa. Let's uh, try to join it. We learn already how to write down the letter fa, okay, as the first letter. So let's check how to write fa here. Fa ya, so will be feel, okay. Zarf. Kharif. Kharif means autumn. We learn about this child. Lifl. Lifl. Fuck. I think something wrong with this one. It only wants you to write down the letter fair, how it looks like in the middle. Okay? Now let's go to the next exercise. تدريب أربعة exercise four صل بين الحركات القصيرة والمناسبة لها. Now we're going to check which one, what the correct vowel here and choose. This is, should be easy, inshallah, for all of you. When we pronounce the first word with the what are the vowel, what are the short vowel it gets, it gets. ضمة. So will be book. So what is the short vowel here? What got it got ضمة here? This one. Now what could you see in the top of ba here? This is فتحة. Where is ba with فتحة? This is ba with فتحة. How to read it? بقرة. Cow. Now where is what did the حركة got here? There is nothing in the top. There is one line, the small line below, which we call it كسرة. So this is ب كسرة ب بنت. Where is Ba Kasra? Here is Ba Kasra. Okay. That's excellent. Now we're going to go through the next one. Next exercise or next letter. Let's check together. We're going to, lo to know about the letter Meme. Harful Meme. Harful Meme. How Meme looks like with in the, at the first letter, middle and the, at the end. In the first letter, ميم مفتاح كي ميم in the middle in the word جمل ميم comes in the middle looks like that and the ميم in the beginning like that okay and the ميم at the end it looks like the letter ميم in the Arabic alphabet قلم قلم I think most of you know the now the letter or the 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 vocabulary قلم which means pen so ميم مفتاح ميم جمل ميم قلم Now what about the ميم as in the short vowel with the short vowels What are the short vowels we learn ميم فتحة ما مكتب ميم كسرة مي مقص ما ميم ضمة مو مشت so from the picture, could you see now maktab desk, miqas scissors, musht is like a brush. And with sukoon, tamr, tamr. So repeat after me, maktab, miqas, musht, tamr. What about the long vowels? Mim, fatha, alif, ma, ma. ميم ضمة واو مو تمور ميم كسرة يا مي ميلاد ماء تمور ميلاد Could you see how to stretch ميم now because ألف comes before it and has فتحة so it becomes ماء and we stretch it again with the sound of واو because it's got ضمة and one comes after, so one comes later of mad, to more, and we, we stretch it with the red sound of ya, yeah, because ya yeah comes after, and this meme got kasra, mi led. 
to repeat after me all the vocabularies again. مفتاح جمل قلم مكتب ميقص مشت تمر ماء تمور مي 